Hello, dear viewers. I'm glad to welcome you to the construction site, where the construction of the Savalmash D and E is in full swing. As always, I'm Alexander Sudrev, and today is the 28th day of the installation. Our last video, which we shot on Friday, and which was the 25th day of the installation, received very good comments and got people interested and was generally well received. The video was made in the format of a video tour, so we decided to continue this tradition and shoot its continuation for you. It's been only two days, but the nature of work on the construction site has undergone some changes, and something has appeared that you haven't seen before. Therefore, let's gradually delve into what may have already been here, what is currently underway and what is new. Now behind my back you can see the start of erecting the staircases. Reinforcement and concrete work is in progress, and in the near future it will look somewhat different. But in addition to this flight of stairs, there are others that we will come up to a little later and demonstrate what work is being done with them. Many of you have already seen concrete foundations, where the metal girders are installed. Here you can see four anchor joints that are lined very precisely. And this ensures the correct position of the metal structure. In order to achieve this effect, it is necessary to perform preparatory work. Come on, I will show you how it works. Now we are observing an installed conductor, with the help of which the anchor joints are aligned. We can see the formwork, thanks to which the concrete is being cast, and this is a metal structure, the so-called conductor. It is also screwed with anchor bolts into the concrete foundation and thus ensures the correct angle of inclination. This is actually how it is done. Let's keep going. I would like to point out that there is quite a lot of sand under our feet and the level of the entire construction site continues to rise. The backfill work is being done. The elevator shafts. And the most interesting thing that we can observe now is how the staircases are being handled. This is an abundance of formwork that was installed earlier. It is necessary to perform concrete and casting work. But what's new from what you haven't seen? This area will border the street. Technically, there will be an entrance here. This is a door. And in this part you can observe the window. The street will be here. Here the employees will be able to pass and immediately go up to the place they need. Let's keep going. The equipment is working on the construction site, so you need to follow the safety rules and then everything will be fine. Let's stop here and look up. If you pay attention, you can see that the agent appeared on the metal structures, which is necessary in order to form the floors. In particular, the agent itself is made for this, and the installation of profiled sheets has begun. After this procedure is completed, the concrete will be poured, and we will already have a floor under our feet, which will allow the builders to move around and perform their further activities. Please note that the agent is made almost around the entire perimeter. And this is really a new type of work, which we have not shown you before. If we take the camera even higher and look at the roof, or rather its absence, then here we can observe the required elements of the roofing, which will later turn into the roof itself. Let's keep going. Now we have entered a one-story extension. Here I think many of you have already observed the partially installed slabs of the ground floor. What's new? If we look in this direction, we will again see the edging 
and above. Probably it will not be very clearly visible from here, but we will ask the guys to shoot it from the other side. The elements are installed on which the cladding of the building is to be attached. The process has started. Soon a building will acquire a finished look. Work continues on the construction of staircases. Well, here you can see a beautiful view of the ramp group. There will be an entrance for unloading and loading trucks with equipment, materials and so on. To my right you can see a huge amount of metal work that is still waiting to be installed, but I think it's not far off. Let's go further. By and large, the construction activities now comprise reinforcement, concrete, installation work and so on. Fundamentally, there is nothing new going on right now. There is a certain routine process that needs to be completed now. And the end of the process will manifest itself in formation of the building frame. Then there will be the active phase of cladding work and so on. The new activities, as I've already said, include casting the concrete floors. Therefore, in the near future, we will be able to observe how the building grows. And by the way, let's go back to the metal structures and talk about setting the alignment of the metal frame. In the comments, people are concerned about the issue of aligning and adjusting the metal structures. Let's now talk about how it works and what is happening. I hold a high-strength bolt in my hands that has controlled tightening. Here we can see the metal structures. These are side struts, connections and so on. This metal structure ensures rigidity of the entire frame. There are holes here that are calibrated. There is a small gap when a bolt is placed in it. Thanks to this gap, the final adjustment is made. How does it work? The metal structure is assembled, tightened, but it's not fully tightened, not as it is supposed to be in the standard. After a certain part of the metal structures is assembled, the alignment is checked with geodesy, the millimeters are measured, literally 3 millimeters, 2 millimeters, and then the fitting is done, set in the correct angles, and then the final controlled tightening. Technically, after that, the design stands perfectly straight. I think that those of you who have dealt with the assembly of a regular rack made of profiled metal do not need a long explanation of how it works. In fact, the parts are already initially fitted to each other and any large gaps and clearances are out of the question. Why? Because otherwise the parts simply cannot be assembled. It is millimeters that are measured here. I think this answer is exhaustive. Let's keep going. Let's turn our attention to the ground floor slabs. As you can see, the slabs are quite impressive in size, consequently they have an impressive weight. In order to install them, you need to comply with certain technological norms and rules. Let's take a look at how it works. Those of you who were particularly attentive watching our previous videos could observe that in this area, the concrete blocks installed here you can still observe this process on this block. We're quite high out of the ground mark. At the moment they have been backfilled, they are already on the same level with the sand and it is precisely these blocks that the ground floor slabs will be installed on in order to ensure the strength of the structure. All this will also be covered with slabs. Another thing typical for cladding, you can see the cladding profiles. From this side it looks more large scale, a larger number of profiles have been installed. I think that in the near future we will be able to enjoy these processes and it will be a completely different picture, a completely different sight and in fact there is still a huge amount of work to be done. Here 
In the course of the story, you don't even know what to take on, because on the one hand, these are routine tasks that are repeated from day to day, the same things, and on the other hand, some nitty-gritty details and subtleties are so important that you can talk about it for quite a long time. Therefore, be sure to follow our channel, the official social media. We will keep you updated on the construction work progress. I wish you all new achievements, a good day, a great mood and success in all your endeavors. See you again!